Meanwhile, two rehabilitation centers will be set up in Nyeri to help alcohol addicts in the recovery process. The effort is a joint one between the Nyeri County Government and National Authority for Campaign Against Drugs, through which six million shillings will be used to refurbish the centers. Where there was also an interesting moment when two men who had hidden second generation brews for sale owned up to their folly and declared that they too would join in the fight against drug abuse. <laughs> In broad daylight, as residents of Nyeri went about the activities, this man lay in the middle of the road in a seemingly inebriated state. <laughs> in a stupor, oblivious of the happenings around him, even as his fellow mechanics tried to get him off the road. <laughs> This, even as stakeholders step up the fight against alcoholism in a directive initiated by President Uhuru Kenyatta, Central Kenya has been most affected by the menace that has seen productive youth ensnared in alcoholism. In an interesting twist in the ongoing crackdown, two men surrendered cartons of second-hand generation alcohol that amounted to 260 liters. The two men had hidden the stock but decided to come clean and join in the fight against the illicit brew and second generation alcohol. We to amnesty. We have to say that 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 we Two health centers in Nyeri will be refurbished and converted to rehabilitation centers to help recovering alcoholics. The two rehabilitation centers that will be stationed at Karia and Gadudi areas will be refurbished at a cost of 6 million shillings provided by Nakada to the Nyeri County government. The exercise is still continuing and we are not going to relent. At the same time as we plan these activities, to get to the gatekeepers of our culture, the Kikuyu Elders Council, for example, we want to work with the churches and so on. And even as residents say that the crackdown on alcoholism should go beyond the stipulated time, they say that it is necessary for a support system to be created, especially for those who have already become addicted, as they cannot stop imbibing in a day. And therefore, the newly refurbished rehabilitation centers here in Nyeri County will come in handy. Carol Derry, KTN, Nyeri County.